What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I've got episode 2 of Road to 99 for you guys. So before the video starts, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let's try to get to 15 likes on this video. So in the intro you guys saw that I went from 86 all the way to 89, I just got to 89 overall today, finally, and my record is not looking too great. My park record's like 11 and 13, something like that. It's not looking too great because I've been playing threes and my team's offense hasn't been bad. We just don't have a pure sharp or anything. So the other team was just hitting threes a lot more than us. And we kind of lost a lot of games because of that, but it's whatever. I actually have my badges now too. So it's going to be a lot easier to win games and improve my record. But anyway, here is some stage gameplay. So I hopped on and this guy was on and his record is pretty good. Really quickly before the video starts, thank you guys so much for 1.5k subscribers and let's get right into the video. So right here I was taking this guy down in the post and then it gave me the weirdest layup animation but I somehow made it. I honestly don't know how. But anyway right here you can see me posting up on my guy, he put his hands up so I took a post fade and I actually did miss the shot. But that's okay because I decided to reach right there, I got the ball, this guy jumps, he goes flying, and I get the easy bucket. Right here I saw him back up for a split second so I decided to do a post hop shot and as you can see, I get a green release and I get my takeover badge. So you know what the takeover badge with a post score, I gotta post up like always, gotta do a bunch of drop steps and spins, and I gotta hit him with a simple layup. Watch this clip right here, I just do a post spin and look at that animation that he gets into. Takeover with the post score is so overpowered, like I don't get that animation all the time, but I get it maybe 80% of the time, but it really depends on the other person's strength. Like right here, I did an animation, I actually got blocked, it wouldn't let me get the rebound either, it made me jump straight up. But yeah, that's one of the examples of the time where I don't get the animation, but I do get the steal, and I'm driving right there, and then he gets a steal, I get a block, and then he gets a dunk. And that play was kind of weird because so much happened in such a short span of time. And after that play, this guy did score 4 points, but I did end up getting the ball back. I'm going to hit him with a nice post fade, and the release was kind of off. I got to get this release down, that's one thing I got to practice. And he was just standing there, so I just decided to rip him. I got the ball back, I'm posting up again like always, I do a drop step and then I actually hit him with a nice fade instead of just a dunk or a layup. And this guy was trying to create so much space but he actually got in a bad animation. So good thing he got unlucky because as you can see by the score I'm only up by 2 at this point. I'm taking him in the post, hitting him with another post fade, getting another green. That's the one thing I'm good at, post fades. But I need to get the rest of my post moves down because this is the first year I've ever made a post score in 2k as you can see. I'm not the best at it yet, like post fades I got down because in 2k17 and 2k18 I could do that with my glass cleaner build but as you can see, he's kind of got it down better than me. This is the part of the game where everything got crazy, it was tied at 16, I got a good position in the post, good drop step, good fake, and then it makes me do a reverse layup. And then I get a layup that's very contested, and I somehow make it. I don't know how I made that one, but I missed the one before. Like The one before, it was an easy layup, but it made me do a reverse layup. But anyway, I'm going back in the post, hitting him with a post fade, good release, and I got 20 points. So all I need is one more bucket for the win. So you know that since I'm a post scorer, I'm going to take this guy low in the post, hit him with the drop step right here, fake him out, and then he blocks me. Did you see how my feet moved? Look at this play. So I was just posting up, I did a drop step, and look at my feet. I'm right next to the hoop. Look at my feet right here. They're gonna slide back so that way the shot is more contested and the layup isn't like lightly contested. Now he's right on me. So he got the block and he got the ball. And the score right here is 18-20 and he ends up missing the shot instead of tying the game. And he kept spamming and spamming and spamming, but I still got the ball somehow. I'm posting up on him, I get a nice spin, it doesn't give me enough space, so I do a drop step, and look at that! It makes me do a post hook instead of a standing layup, and I thought it was an and one, but it was a travel. And if you keep watching, you can see he's gonna run to the right side of the floor, I'm playing good defense, and look, it slides me all the way to the left, so he gets a wide open post hop shot, and the game is tied, and he has takeover, so at this point I started lagging too, so I was like, it's basically over, look at this. He has takeover, I'm kind of reaching because I'm, I can't do anything about it and then he just wins the game. Like I had two possessions where I could have gotten the win. I had 20 points, he had 16 points, and I had a nice layup but then it moved me out of the paint. And then the second one, it made me do a post hook instead of a layup so it was a travel. Like 
I really should have won that game. I was playing good, and I, I, I just lost. Like, the game just... I don't, I don't even know. But anyway, that's gonna be it for the video. Make sure to drop a like. Let's get this video to 15 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see some more Road to 99 gameplay. I don't like the Warriors. I'm just on there because they gave me a max contract and I want the championship DNA badge. So uh, I had to say that before anyone else said it in the comments below. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'm out. Peace.